Hello everybody, it's Garrett, and today we're going to be talking about how Maggie's absolutely going to switch up the meta in a big way, and she may be one of the most OP characters on launch. And also, we're going to talk about a change to some of the future battle passes, and this current battle pass that we're on, that you may not be a fan of. And also, congratulations to this person for winning 6,700 Apex coins. I'm going to start a 5 battle pass giveaway now, so if you want to win a Defiance battle pass, all you've got to do is subscribe and comment down below. And you have a pretty big chance, because there's 5 whole battle passes. So first of all, let's talk about how Mad Maggie is going to switch everything up. First of all, if you where she has a few abilities such as shooting a breaching charge from a gun, also a high precision boulder which can hit people, and also it seems she gets a speed boost whenever she's using a shotgun. And a lot of these mentioned abilities are extremely unique and very viable in combat. For example, if you look at the breaching charge, you can basically push anybody out of cover without even going near them because it's a ranged attack. So I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work, but I bet it's going to be like thermite when you're standing near the wall affected. This is definitely going to be a huge tool in ranks because you can just push anyone away from cover, force them out and shoot them, it's just that easy, otherwise they've really got to firm all the damage and heal up. Truly out of this gear set, the thing you should be immediately training for and using when the game loads up is the boulder. This seems to be a very high precision and high damage object which can be used very tactically. As you can see it rolls in a straight line to a target so you need to time it correctly as it is a projectile. If you partner Maggie with for example Octane this could lead to extremely efficient pushes. So you shoot a boulder at an enemy, freeze them and octane pad onto them, boom that's an instant win for your fight. But anyway, let's move on to the battle passes because if you weren't aware, battle passes from last season on are not exclusive. This was actually announced on the frequently asked questions page on the Apex Legends website and revealed that battle passes past the season 10 one are going to be non-exclusive. Therefore, this whole battle pass that we have right now has a potential of coming back. So if you log in in season 12, you literally could log on and see the level 50 Battle Pass Mirage skin, which was this season. But I thought I'd inform you of that because I don't want anyone to make any rush purchases thinking, oh, I need to get this Battle Pass because I might miss out because honestly, it could come back any day now. One big confusion I see within this when people see the fact that they're bringing old Battle Passes back, people think, oh no, my Season 6 skins, oh no, my Season 3 skins. But the thing is, they said Season 10 onwards. So Season 10, that Battle Pass and onwards have the chance to return it. So luckily, your older Battle Passes are safe. And now, those are the rarest skins in the game, apart from Twitch Prime skins as well. But anyway, if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. You'll also be entering the Battle Pass giveaway. Anyway, like the video, comment down below, and I'll see you soon, folks.